Sessions. Hi, I'm Molly, and today I'm joined by Amy. <laughs> And today we're going to be looking at body confidence, the relationship we have with our bodies, and how social media may affect that. So, can you think of the first time you really became aware of your body? When I first started secondary school, because I just started my period, so that wasn't fun. <laughs> so I was going through a lot of changes, you know, physically with my mm -hmm. body and like emotionally. <laughs> my hormones were probably all over the place. I went to a smaller secondary school. There was only like 30 girls. I was a lot bigger. I don't think I really noticed that in primary school. Mm -hmm. When I started secondary school, I think it was more noticeable for me that I was a lot bigger. I remember, especially towards the end of primary school, my parents were like, people would just be like, oh, like, it's just baby fat. Like, it's just puppy yeah. fat. Yeah. And then you get to first year and you're like, everyone else seems to be losing this puppy fat. And I'm here like, yeah. So how would you describe your relationship with your body now? I would say I'm more appreciative of my body and everything it goes through. I'm not my body, you know, it's beautiful in its own way because we're made to be different in different shapes and sizes. There's no perfect body because that's the beauty of our bodies is that they're different and it's not like anyone else's. I mean, yeah, I'll definitely have thoughts or days where I think, oh, you know, look at these people and but I knew that this is my body and I don't need to worry about what other bodies look like. Do you think your answer would be different uh, if I'd asked you that a few years ago? Definitely. Like we were saying in primary school, I wasn't really bothered about my body. I was definitely, like I said, one of the bigger girls in my class, but that never slipped my mind. And, you know, like in secondary school, I think I was more insecure because I was in a smaller school and I was comparing myself more. No, that's definitely like not the case. Stand the growth. <laughs> <laughs> so do you think that social media has a role to play in how you feel about your body? Yeah, like I said in primary school I wasn't comparing myself because social media wasn't like a big thing, you know, Instagram, yeah. like TikTok. I've only recently started TikTok. I think definitely children are becoming more exposed to social media and having those thoughts because they're being exposed to that from a younger age. We should be teaching children from a younger age that your body is beautiful in your own way. What you see on the screen isn't necessarily what's you know, in real life and your body, your body is different because we're all made to be different shapes and sizes. Everybody, it's beautiful. Everybody, yeah. <laughs> I didn't make that up, that's like a hashtag. <laughs> It's a hard thing to work around because you want children, now that they're exposed to social media so young, you want to prepare them by saying like, this isn't real, every body is beautiful. Mm -hmm. But also it's such a beautiful thing that whenever you're younger, you don't even know you're in a body. You're just like yeah. playing in dirt and like eating yeah, mud. you, exactly, exactly. Mm. So uh, what is one thing that you love about your body? As a, overall, I would say, I love my body is constantly working and moving and even though I'm just sitting here right now, you know, it's it's fighting germs, you know, mm. with what's going on in the world, and I tend to listen to my body now. It, in a way, is helping us, you know, to keep ourselves in check. It's amazing that, you know, perhaps eventually I'll be able to actually like make a child mm. in my body. That I think, if someone had said that, you know, in primary school or like even a couple of years ago, I would be like, <laughs> a baby's gonna come out of you. People do that. <laughs> So when you're having a low body confidence day, is there anything that makes you feel better? I love like quotes. If I do see a quote that I really like, you know, actually reading it out loud, just saying it helps me to actually, you know, yeah, I am beautiful or, you know, whatever it is, it just helps me to actually believe it because I tend to overthink in my mind a lot. So if I just say it in my mind, sometimes it doesn't actually mm. message across. With like oh. quotes like that, if I'm really going through it, I love making it my phone background so that every time I'm going on yeah. my phone, probably to go on social media so that I can make myself feel worse about yeah. myself, my phone goes, you're beautiful. And I'm like, whoa, whoa, thank you past me. You're so right. There was a quote I did. Wow. Loving your body isn't believing your body looks good. It's knowing your body is good, regardless of how it looks. It isn't thinking you're beautiful. It is knowing you're more than beautiful. It is understanding that your body is an instrument for your use, not an ornament to be admired. Oh, I love that. Thank you so much uh, for chatting with me. I hope you have an amazing day. You too. Thank you very much.